Hello guys, welcome again to the channel. How are you people doing? So uh, on today's video, we'll be talking about something different. I know that you people have seen me talking about goats, talking about uh, cattle, talking about pigs. But today, I'm going to be talking about plantain. Yeah, plantain. You will be like, this guy, are you into plantain farming? Yeah, I'm into almost everything, agriculture. Apart from some other things here. But as you can see behind me, this is a plantain plantation that is um, that is behind me. This plantain plantation is is owned by me. But it's kind of um, it's been long I started doing this plantain plantation. So uh, this is just a plot of land, I'm just using it for now. This most of this plantain you passing behind me. Uh, they were planted in fact let me give you a, a better view uh, these plantains have been here for almost like three years now because I planted these plantains in 2017 we are planted in 2017 so this is just a plot of land it extends to the other side it extends to the other side so this is what we are using for the plantain plantation so if you check it out it's, it's a very big plantain plantation and some of the plantains are still, you know, they are still growing, but some are matured, some are still giving fruits. I've been, you know, this plantain has been giving me fruits as a plantain, plantain since 2019. But I planted them in 2017, and uh, they have been giving me fruits, and like I say plantains, since 2019. So if, if you want to start your plantain, plant, a plantain business in Nigeria, or anywhere you are, believe me, it's a very, very nice business. Plantain, you see plantain, plantain business is very, very profitable because nowadays plantain, Nigeria can't even meet its plantain demand for now. Nigeria cannot meet its plantain demand. Nigeria has a lot of plantain scarcity. Nigeria cannot meet its demand for plantain. So one of the biggest markets right now in the agricultural niche is plantain. Plantain is very, very expensive. A, it's not even a bunch. A single, I don't know how to explain it, a single stick I don't know if people understand what I mean by stick. A single, you know, plantain, not the bunch. A single plantain here in the southeast costs 100 naira. 100 naira, that means, and if you have a bunch, you can sell a bunch. I, I don't know which example I used to show you people now, but a, a bunch of plantain these days can cost as much as 4,000 naira. So the market is there, the demand is there. And, uh, you know, this is something that if you are serious about it and if you have the land, you can be able to easily get into it. So this is something that if you are serious about starting it, you can easily, you know, get into it. So what are the steps of starting a plantain business? You know, plantain business is something that you need to have the business. You need to have the plantain plantation first before you start doing the business. Unless you want to be buying from farmers and then, you know, selling to the market. But if you want to start a plantain plantation business, the first step, like, I always say is land. You cannot plant these things on the air. You need land. So you get your land. Now the next thing you have to do is you get your suckers. I'll show you people what sucker is. Plantain. This little plantain, they are suckers. So this is a sucker. A plantain that is still growing. The little plantain that is still growing is a sucker. So all you have to do is you get your land. You um, get your suckers. And then... Now once you get your suckers, the next thing you have to do is, you know, you, you know, till the soil and uh, input your suckers into it. I always advise people that you should always apply man manure. For example, like me now, I'm into livestock. I have goats, I have pigs, I have cattle. Now all this money that is coming out, where they usually go to, I mean the ones that people don't buy, where they usually go to is into this plantain plantation. Plantain plantation, or if I'm planting corn, or if I'm planting cassava. I transfer all the money to there. That's the one that people don't buy. So this is more of like, if you are doing your livestock, you also, you know, put plantain by the side so that your waste will not be going to the plantain and the plantain that is going will not still give you money to buy feed or to buy whatever. So it's more of like a cycle, a cycle. You are trying to, you know, conserve whatever waste you have, convert it into money, into plantain, into a money, and the money will help your plantain to grow and the Plantain will fetch you money, which you now use to you know, solve your problems or even buy feed for your for your animals. So it's more of a cycle. So plantain, there's not really too much about plantain. 
It's just a simple process. Anybody can do it. Anybody can start a plantain business. You need land, suckers, and manure. And all you have to do is till your soil, input the suckers, cover the soil, and pour manure around it. It's as simple as that. Now, the spacing for, for plantain is... Uh, a plantain should get at least... If you are trying to save land, the spacing for plantain should be at least, you no. Know, two feet apart, two to three feet apart. Now, but if you are trying to do it standard, it should be five feet apart. That means a plot of land can contain up to, uh, a plot of land can contain up to, you know, 20 suckers or so. So depending on, on the, uh, what do you call it, on the dimension of land, of a plot of land in your area. But the standard measurement should be two to three feet apart so that your plantains will grow very well and we have enough space for their suckers to also grow. So these things are all simple processes where that anybody can do. Now, if you want to make good money out of plantain plantation, the best way is to do it on a large scale. Imagine if you have 16 hectares of land that you don't, that you don't use at the moment. All you have to do is use plantain to finish all, everywhere. Use plantain to you know, plant everywhere. Now, if you have a livestock farm, it's even better. You can transfer your animals, your animals' dogs to your plantain plantation and your plantains will be doing very, very well. They'll be doing extremely well. And plantains don't even require much, you know, much weeding. They will also always grow as far as you apply your manure. For example, here now, I don't weed it every time. As you can see, there are still some grasses here. But at least every four months, I, call, I pay somebody to, you know, clear the land for me. Then I, I reapply the manure. So it's more of a simple process. It doesn't require much. And you don't always have to be there, unlike livestock. You don't always have to be at your plantain plantation inspecting it every day. No. You just plant it every once in a while, maybe once in a month, once in three months, you come and look at your plantain. As far as nobody is stealing your plantain. Because that's, that is a major issue here in Nigeria. If you're doing your plantain plantation, you should always make sure that you put somebody that will be inspecting it there every day. And make sure that people are not coming there to steal your plantain. Because even here we are, sometimes people come to steal our plantain, but we always catch them. We always catch them because there's somebody you know, within the area who is in charge of it. So it's always good that if you're doing it in a large scale, you should always employ somebody that will be taking care of it. But that business is a very, very simple business. It's a very, very simple business. So, uh, and it's very, very profitable. The demand is there. The demand is there. In fact, if I had more lands, believe me, if I had more lands, <laughs> if, I, if, I was like, if I was like an owner of 100 hectares of land, 100 acres, man, if I'm not using it for livestock, the next thing I need to do is plantain, plantain plantation. Plantain, because plantain, the demand is there. The demand is insatiable. It's insatiable. So the best thing that people can do for themselves, especially those who have the land, is to, the land that you're not using at the moment, is to plant, plant plantain on it because it's very, very, it will fetch a lot of income. It will fetch a lot of income. And it grows on its own. You don't need to be watering it. You don't need to be, and it, it's, it's, it doesn't have a season. It doesn't have a season. It, it grows all year, all year round. It doesn't have a season. That's what I'm saying about plantain. It doesn't have a season. Now, if you're able to get, you know, their, their improved uh, uh, plantain suckers, those ones that grow within 10 months, 5 months, you have your plantain that is, you know, grown. If you're able to get those hybrid suckers, even better. Because most of these ones we have in this, uh, in Nigeria, are still all these uh, ones that might take up to one year before, you know, start to, before it to start fruiting. But if you're able to get your hands on these hybrid suckers that grow within a short period of time, even better. That means every five months, tailors will be coming to your farm to you know, clear the plantain. All you need is a call. In fact, even floor companies, all these plantain floor companies are looking for places where they will get, where they will get a plantain. There are, there, are, uh, there, there are three main things in demand when it comes to you know, the food sector here in Nigeria. I, th I, think, I think so. I think so. Now, as if I are like, you know, they are not some other things that are also in high demand. But the three main things, you see plantain, you see cassava, you see maize. These things are in high demand. So if you have an acre of land, one plot of land that you're not using at the moment, it's always advisable that you plant all these things. You plant all these things because these things will fetch you money without much effort. They fetch you money without much effort. Instead of you leaving your land empty with bushes on it, you better you put it to good use and make sure that you are growing plantains or you are growing maize or you are growing cassava. Because I'm one thing I love about plantain is plantain has no season. It grows all year round, and you can even mix it with a. Uh, you can mix it with banana or, or um, what they call it. You can mix it with also coconut on the same land. It will grow very well. They will do very well. Here we also have some few coconut, but they're not that much. But I'll still make a video on how to start your coconut farm, farming business. So, but 
at the end of the day, this is a plantain plantation, which I always advise people that you should try to own a plantain plantation, no matter how small. As far as you have the land, as far as you have the land, and uh, you have the hands to do it. Even if you don't have the hands, you can employ labor. So that's it on today's video. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you keep on following the channel. And make sure you keep on uh, supporting the channel. So that's it on today's video. Thank you. And see you in the next video.